By making the gym easy to join and difficult to leave, Blink reminds me of a roach motel. As they say, you can check in, but you can't check out. Gyms are notorious for playing games with their members over technicalities, chiseling people out of extra fees who don't even use the gym anymore, and creating roadblocks to cancellation so as to extend contract life, and so on. It's why so many people are unhappy with gym management in general. They rely too much on fine print, boilerplate, technicalities and formalities in their contracts when such things shouldn't even be in there. You don't screw your own members. That's an unwritten rule in business. Did you know that, despite the pandemic, if you mail an otherwise valid cancellation notice, to the address for cancellations on your blink contract, it will not be deemed sufficient to cancel your account? They require certified mail. What a con job. They know no one wants to go through the time and expense of going down to the post office, waiting in line, and filling out a certified mail form, then paying the extra fee for it. So that is one roach motel feature in their contract, which thwarts easy cancellation. Another one is found on their website. If you follow the cancellation link and email cancellations at blinkfitness.com with a valid notice of cancellation, they will claim it is invalid and not recognize your account as canceled and keep billing you on and on instead, despite their having actual written notice of your cancellation, which is usually deemed legal notice by a court because there's a maxim of jurisprudence that says the law respects form less than substance. And if the gym has the substance of a cancellation in an email or in a mailed letter, then the form is of minor, trivial significance, as any good judge would agree. They will say you have to use a special online form that contains a provision that prevents immediate cancellation and delays it by 45 days, knowing you don't want to pay for two extra months of gym membership that you don't need. But to cancel, they require you to reaffirm the 45-day delay, the most disagreeable and objectionable term in the contract. So if you object to that, as I do, you can't use the online form. So that is another barrier to cancellation, another Roach Motel feature of Blink. So your only alternative is to go to the gym itself, no matter how out of the way it is, and hand deliver a notice of cancellation to the front desk. It must include your name, address, and member ID number. In order to cancel yet preserve my objection to the 45-day notice requirement, this is how I worded my notice of cancellation. You can use the same or similar language if you want to. I assert no copyright to it and hereby release it into the public domain. A copy is printed in the video description. If they try to come after me for extra fees, despite my not having worked out at the gym for the past 12 months, I will present the judge in small claims court with my notice of cancellation, additional paperwork, and argue that the 45-day notice is unenforceable as unconscionable and unjustified in the context of a general access gym. I may also file counterclaims for abusive process for the inconvenience they've caused me. I believe the court would rule in my favor. If you have any questions, please use the comments section below. And good luck trying to check out of the Roach Motel. I hope this makes it easier for you. Here's a generic form copy of the notice of cancellation I hand delivered 